Hello, this is Dazzling, and today we're going to be looking at a DDO Divine Spell Analysis spreadsheet that I recently created for this game. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the spreadsheet for anyone interested, as well as some analytics on spells based on different metrics. If there's any errors that come up on this spreadsheet, I'll be pinning a comment saying any that are outstanding. I'll also be trying to fix them, obviously. And if you want to use this sheet yourself, you're going to want to make a copy of it. First off, big shout out to ddowiki.com. I used a lot of the information from there and then compared it off of stuff in game to fix any errors. It made it a lot easier being able to scrape data from there instead of having to manually type it in for every spell. Now, all that information from DDO Wiki, like I said, I scraped it into this spreadsheet right here and then removed any spells that do not deal damage or heal. Then we have obviously some custom columns here beyond the stuff on the wiki. A lot of this is just going to be things that integrate our stats and stuff so that we can look at our actual expected damage, our damage per spell point, our DPS, all that type of stuff. Now messing with this sheet should be pretty straightforward. I've also included a little bit of a cheat box down here to show what you should be doing with stuff, but effectively how it breaks down is anything green you're expected to update yourself. This doesn't pull spell powers from anything. You have to manually type in your spell powers by reading your character sheet or by going off a build planner or something. You can update your class level and character level if you want. I have them just set at the max. As more max levels come out, I'll probably just keep updating the base max to the max. You'll have to enter your own metamagic cost reduction. This was something where it might have been automatable to be pretty effective. However, the problem is there's so many factors that go into it that it makes it a lot less clean of a sheet. So instead, you just enter your own metamagic cost increase. So in this case, I'm pretending I have Quicken on, because I always do, and so cost is 10. Note that metamagics do not actually get applied. You know, whatever effects you have, whatever cost you type in, it doesn't apply unless you have metamagics turned on. So this toggle is very important. Now, we also have red cells. Red cells contain formulas. You don't want to mess with the formulas. So don't edit anything of that. Don't edit these things down here. Technically, you can actually like delete stuff and it doesn't delete as long as you don't get rid of the main one, then you actually deleted something. There's also these toggles. Toggles are going to be pretty straightforward. Just if you have the ability, go ahead and click it. So let's say I'm using Divine Augmentation 2 items of some sort. I press that, it increases my caster level. I toggle it off, it reverts to normal. When you want to actually look at numbers, obviously we have these 10 best spells per cast, per spell point, or per second things down here. Uh, this type of issue only happens with heal. That only happens if there's a tie in the 10th place. While this is a good way to get a quick glance of our stuff, there's also nothing stopping us from coming into Divine. All the information on the front page just pulls from here mainly. And so we can look and say, yeah, greater glyph of warding. It sucks. So now let's look at some actual numbers. For our damage per cast, damage per spell point, and damage per second, I chose these three categories to examine because I think they cover pretty much everything we want to see in spells. Starting off with a lot of negative spells are actually very good damage per cast. The issue with them is obviously that they don't work on all enemies, but with zero in our casting stats, they would be quite good. We also see that our 9th and 8th level spells do a lot per cast, and heal and mass heal are both very good heals per cast at base. When it comes to damage per spell point, a lot of lower level spells are able to sneak onto the list as well, uh, even Glyph of Warding somehow, but also stuff like Nimbus of Light, Searing Light, Deific Vengeance. Take this with a grain of salt, because this is with zero metamagics whatsoever. That does mean that a Nimbus of Light spell-like ability is probably still insane spell point efficiency, but we already knew that. If we put Quicken on, for example, Nimbus of Light is now barely in top 10, and we're seeing a breakdown that resembles the damage per cast a lot more. If we want to look at our damage per second, again, we're somewhat resembling the damage per cast table. However, 
Notable is that ninth level spells fall off of this completely. Their damage per second is not particularly impressive. I can even pull up Divine real quick to show you that uh, Divine Wrath is 16, Slash Bombardment is 10 or 11, compared to number 10 is 44. So with those long cooldowns, damage per second, they're not great, but they're worth casting for the damage per cast. Something like Searing Light or Firestorm or even Nimbus of Light is going to be better for sustained spamming. Now obviously that was just the base values, so let's try using some values from one of my actual casters in-game. You can judge my stats or be impressed at the stats, but I think they're a decent uh, mid-range stat array that shows pretty well what you'll expect with a high-level character that's somewhat geared. So looking at this, Divine Wrath, Flesh, Bombardment, Firestorm, all of these jump to the top because I'm not a negative spellcaster. I have some support, but not a whole lot. So our ninth and 8th level spells become very good per cast. Heal Mass is still a very good heal for the cast, assuming you, know, you don't care about the long casting time and everything, but potentially even usable on Undead or something. Then our Inflict Wounds type spells, they actually still stay up there pretty well, which is impressive considering I have a solid 200 or 250 less spell power of negative than anything else. So a negative caster is definitely viable as long as you're pretending the undead don't exist. And then Searing Light and Flame Strike actually managed to be on there as some low level spells. Again, damage per spell point. I don't have Quicken on currently, so we can see Nimbus of Light does phenomenal, Deific Vengeance, Searing Light, lots of low level spells that do very well. Uh, Divine Wrath isn't represented at all, and the Barman and Firestorm are fairly low in the top 10. But if we put on Quicken, Searing Light actually is a very phenomenal spell point efficiency spell. Deific Vengeance still stays up. Nimbus of Light drops heavily though because it's so cheap at base. And Firestorm and Celestial Bombardment are still very good. Divine Wrath sneaks back on. Then if we want to look at damage per second, that's a metric where Searing Light excels at. You can see it's very, very solid damage per second. I mean, compared to something like Firestorm, and I actually have better fire spell power, although I suppose I have more spell crit for light, but Searing Light is just a very good damage per second spell, assuming single target. Uh, obviously, if you have even just two enemies you're casting at, Firestorm's going to start winning out. And then Nimbus of Light, Sunbolt, we're basically just seeing that there's a lot of low-level spells that are very good damage per second with their short cooldowns. Now this last analysis is going to take a very long amount of time because it's very similar to the one we just did. But this is what the stats are going to look like more with all my metamagic signs, spell point reduction applied, and cooldown reduction applied, and my metamagic cost reductions. So now we can see 9th and 8th level spells are still very good, and Flick spells are still very good. Uh, Flame Strike falls off, but I'm pretty sure it's just right below here. And then damage per spell point, once we no longer have those really cheap spells being really cheap, our 9th and 8th level spells start winning out again, with Inflict Critical Wounds still making a nice showing. And Searing Light is still quite good. Then on damage per second, Searing Light continues to be king, even with all these metamagics and stuff. And uh, Nimbus of Light is actually still valid. Firestorm's valid. We still don't see the ninth level spells. That cooldown is just really hurts them in that aspect. So hopefully you found this interesting. If anyone wants to use this sheet themselves, I'll have a link in the description. And let me know if you liked it in particular or want to see something else like this soon. Thanks for watching and have a good one.